We have some developing news on what could be the first peanut allergy drug. Meg Terrell joins us. She has more on that front. Meg. Hey, Becky. Well, the FDA is convening a meeting of outside advisors this Friday to evaluate what would be the first FDA-approved drug to treat peanut allergy. And the documents ahead of that meeting came out this morning, and they can often have a huge impact on stock prices of these companies. The company's Immune Therapeutics looks like it's up about 6.5% this morning. Those documents just coming out and looking essentially in line with what people were expecting. Uh, what they show is that the FDA thinks that this treatment is effective, and you can see uh, this is the result of the trial that support this application. Uh, patients had a reaction to just a third of a peanut when they started this trial. After a year, 67 percent uh, on the treatment could tolerate about two peanuts compared with just 4 percent who didn't get the treatment. Um, so uh, it looks like it works, but what uh, the FDA is focusing on in these documents is the safety. And uh, in the treatment, you are actually getting peanut protein, trying to build up your tolerance over time. And so the obvious kind of side effects to that are just the allergic reaction to peanuts. Uh, but of course, peanut allergy, guys, is a huge problem in the United States and a growing one. Anybody who has kids in daycare or school uh, have dealt with uh, this problem with their own children or with other kids in their class. So this will be closely watched on Friday, the first uh, drug for immune therapeutics, so a binary event. And today, looking about in line uh, and the stock rising on this news. Mike, back to you. It, it, Meg, okay. is this a, a, a drug or, or therapy? How should we refer to it? I it's mean, if you're really just actually question. taking peanuts along the way to build up your allergy, that doesn't sound like a drug. It right. sounds like. Right. It is peanut protein. It is very highly regulated, so they know exactly how much of the peanut protein that uh, patients are getting, and it's going through the drug approval process but it's peanut protein. So uh, I refer to it as a, a treatment or therapy rather than a drug, probably. And um, Meg, is there any estimate of uh, the, the sort of total market uh, f for this potential treatment at this point? I mean, obviously, it's a pervasive issue, but how, how much do people think that this would actually uh, be in use? Yeah, so it depends on how pa parents really want to kind of approach this with their kids. Um, the idea with this treatment isn't that you'd be able to eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's just that you'd be protected if you got accidental exposure to peanuts. Uh, so some parents might want to continue just avoiding peanuts at all costs, and some might want to pursue this strategy. Wall Street thinks that this drug could be more than a billion dollars in annual sales, so could be potentially quite large.